Back in the day when I was a teenager, we used the term scrambler to refer to motocross bikes. Now, these were usually bikes with small single cylinder engines, light body weight and massive amounts of ground clearance. They were the type of bikes that you could use to explore dirt roads as easily as you could ride to school or to work. The scramblers of those days were eclipsed by the much more versatile adventure bikes. But fortunately, the spirit lives on in bikes like this one, the Honda CRF250L. The CRF is based on Honda's single-cylinder 250cc engine, which delivers 17 kilowatts at 8,500 revs. It is wrapped in a welded steel frame and suspended by an inverted fork on the front and a single shock absorber at the back. The seat is very flat and frankly none too comfortable. And the fuel tank is narrow enough that you can grip it with your knees when you're riding hard in the dirt. My first impression was that the power delivery is not this bike's strongest suit. But when the engine was warmed up, I discovered that it has a very nice power band between 6,500 and 8,500 revs. And if you keep it in that narrow power band, the bike actually accelerates quite pleasantly and is perfectly capable of maintaining 120 kilometers per hour unless you are trying to go up the side of a mountain. The bike's gearing is done very well. At South Africa's national speed limit in top gear, the engine spins very much at the top of that little power band. Granted, there is no reserve power at that speed, but it did enable me to keep up nicely with the freeway traffic on my daily commute between Pretoria and Joburg. Beyond the less than plush seat, the bike's small fuel tank also makes it best suited for local riding. It has a capacity of only 7.7 .7 liters, and that meant that stopping for petrol turned out to be a daily event during my commute. But then this bike is not intended to be a long distance machine. It's meant to be taken to your local quarry or mine dump or whatever other playground you might have to be thrashed to your heart's content. That it makes a very good commuter is incidental. One of the key is a giveaway that this bike is more intended for off-road than on-road riding is the fact that this, the cabling and piping for the front brake, is squarely in the way of the instrument panel when you are on the bike. It would be a sexy alternative to a scooter for commuting, but the bike's price tag places it well out of the range of people who are looking for an inexpensive daily ride. And that, in my opinion, leaves it somewhat wanting for a target audience. While it is priced fairly similarly to other bikes in this category, I feel that in that category, the pricing is rather hefty for what you get. Which is rather sad because all in all, the CRF is a fun little bike and I thoroughly enjoyed the time I spent testing it. It brought back memories of long gone days when I would take the bike on back roads and put my own skills against whatever unknown lies around the next corner. And with Honda's legendary build quality to bolster it, it does feel like it will be able to stand up to years of the thrills and spills of off-road riding. In essence, it really captures the spirit of the scramblers of my youth. However, when I did drop the bike while riding off-road, it did turn out to be a rather convenient grab handle with which to pick up this 65 gram motorcycle.